A new report shows a significant decline in math scores for U.S. students. According to the Program for International Student Assessment, the average 2022 math score was 465 out of 1,000. That's 13 points lower than the 2018 average, a drop equivalent to losing more than a half a year of schooling. In the same time frame as the score decline, chronic absences in our nation's schools have nearly doubled. Stanford professor Thomas D. recently told us visiting student homes is one way to combat absences. Meg Oliver takes us to Louisville, Kentucky, where school officials are doing just that. In Louisville, Kentucky, Chris Lance is part of the attendance team, making up to 30 house calls a week searching for chronically absent students. Well, first stop of the day, yep. what happened? No answer. No answer again? No answer again. Same. Same thing? Yeah. In this school district in Jefferson County, 63% of families rely on schools for meals. <laughs> Chronic absenteeism, defined as at least 10 absences within the school year, has always been an issue here. But since the pandemic, 38% more students are missing weeks, sometimes months, of school. Last year, nearly 14 million students nationwide were chronically absent, nearly twice as many compared to previous years. I think it is a, a major crisis. Jefferson County Superintendent Marty Polio. When you think of housing instability, food instability, a student who doesn't have clean clothes may not come to school. There is a youth resource center in each Jefferson County school that provides everything from clean clothes and hygiene products to food for struggling students. We don't want to punish them for not going to school. We want to take away all the barriers that might be keeping them from coming to school. Students like 19-year-old Hector, who in addition to school, works 40 hours a week to help support his family. How many school days did you miss last year? Like a half of the year and then I didn't come to school. Half of the year you didn't yeah. come to school? Yeah. After several house calls, Lance was able to convince Hector to return to school. How does it feel that this school helped bring you back to school after you missed almost half a year last oh, year? That feel like I am special, mm -hmm. yeah. With added support, Hector will graduate high school in 2025 at 20 years old. Do you feel like you're making a difference, especially when you're going to these doors and no one's even answering? I think if you affect one person, it's a difference, especially, you know, in, in some of our communities, it, you could save a kid. And Meg Oliver joins us now. So, Meg, when you were on the ground in Louisville, uh, did anybody answer these visits? No, not a single parent answered the door, but Chris would leave his contact information. And in between visits, one parent called and explained they were too nervous to send their child to school because of an increase in gang violence. There are parents in Louisville that are too nervous to have their child stand at a bus stop. If the parents don't want it, it's really hard to get around and, mm -hmm. and have the kids want it. And also, that's a lot of work. How sustainable is it for schools to do all of this hard work just to get them in the door? Well, Louisville is invested. They're using donations and grants, and they have seen the research shows this is the most effective way to bring students back is through direct contact. Even though that's a very sad story about this parent who's worried about their child with an increase in gang violence, that gives him a tool. Now they know what the problem is, so they can start that relationship, build that relationship, and start bringing these students back. In, in order to build that relationship, mm -hmm. make those ties connected again, what other kinds of support do these kids need when they get back to school? Well, as I mentioned in the story, 63% of these students rely on these schools for meals. Mm -hmm. They have these resource centers in every single school, so if they need clean clothes, they can offer it to them. If they need food, if the family needs food, if they need hygiene products, They'll even bring in dentists from time to time. They are set up to help and build this relationship, but they have to get in touch with them first. Meg Oliver, a crucial look at what's happening in our education system. Thanks so much, Meg. Thanks.